If you watched our high school football show throughout the high school season, the name Alfred Dorber came up every Friday night. The St. Ray's running back was a touchdown machine for the Saints, leading them to an undefeated lead league record. But Dorber's story doesn't end at Pawtucket. He has a bright future ahead of him, and J.P. Smallens has his story in this week's Hometown Hero segment. He rushed for over 1,300 yards and 26 touchdowns. St. Ray's senior Alfred Dorbor's numbers, making him one of the favorites for the state's Gatorade Player of the Year. I had a lot of people that helped me work hard, and there was a lot of seniors that like showed me the way to be great, and that's what we just tried to do. He's a great young man in every way. Uh, he's a great role model for the kids. Um, he's extremely humble for the top type quality player and individual that he is. And when I tell the teachers or anybody that he's getting, you know, he's getting looked at for Gatorade Player of the Year, or he's, you know, Channel 12 is coming to speak with him. Um, everybody's very happy for him because they know what a great kid he is. His excellence not limited to the field. Dorber, a high achiever in the classroom, has become a key part of the school community. Alfred's the kind of kid, if he didn't play a day of football, he could still write his own ticket as far as where he wants to go to school. He does it academically. He does it on the field. He does the leadership things off the field. We tell some young kids who've had some issues, emulate the things he does. He's in the weight room four days a week in the offseason. He's uh, running extra sprints. He's, he's getting extra help in a class when he thinks he needs it. He's pushing himself academically. He's pushing himself in every way. Alfred's all-around success to make him the latest saint to earn a Division I scholarship next fall, following in the footsteps of Sacred Heart senior J.D. Roussel and Harvard sophomore Devon Robertson, two players he's leaned on for advice in charting his future. I always wanted to play college football since I was young, so I'll be excited to go through with it. They've been telling me about it too. I talk to them sometimes and it seems fun and a lot of hard work and I think I'm up for it and willing to do it. Right now he's drawing a lot of uh, what we call the old 1AA interest. We've had UNH in for a visit. Uh, I was on the phone the other day with uh, Temple University. So I think there's still going to be more to come, but the gratification of seeing a lot of these kids go on at the college level afterwards is probably the most satisfying part of my career and my job. Seeing these kids get that opportunity to go to a school that maybe they necessarily couldn't get in just with their academic piece, but with the football piece and the academic piece and seeing them go on and do something with their lives is very rewarding. With your Cardi's Furniture Hometown Sports Hero, I'm J.P. Smallins. Thank you, J.P. If there's someone you'd like to nominate to be a hometown hero, please email us all the information, sports at WPRI.com. It doesn't matter the age or sport he or she plays. We are always looking for inspirational athletes to profile in our area.